So I know I look like poop because I just got up and kind of went and I don't really have any makeup on or anything. But um, I just wanted to do this video because I am dyeing my hair brown. I know a lot of you guys are going to be not very happy with it. But I'm really tired of having red hair. Um, last time I dyed it, I was like, I really, like right after I dyed it, I was like, I really shouldn't have done that because I really don't want to have red hair anymore and I kind of just want to get rid of it. So, um, as you can see, it's like blonde and pink and all kinds of colors. So I'm just going to show you what I bought and yeah. So first of all, I got color oops for my red in my hair. Mostly the bottom because I couldn't really get the bottom out and I really don't want to bleach it. So hopefully this will get the red out. Um, it's supposed to be really good for that. I had no idea they had this in Canada. And I went to my shopper's drug mart to buy my hair dye and I was telling her about my situation. She's like, have you tried color oops? I was like, I had no, no idea you guys even had that. So she went over and grabbed it for me. I think it was like $16. And yeah, so I'm going to be using this first. And um, if you don't know what color oops is, it's um, a color remover. It's supposed to remove um, permanent, no, semi, permanent and semi-permanent hair color, I believe. Um, it's supposed to be really good on red hair. Uh, and it doesn't have any, um, it's ammonia free and it's bleach free. So, hopefully this doesn't damage my hair, um, which is like my number one concern doing this whole thing. Um, but I know like this is going to be the last time damaging my hair and then my hair is going to be brown and then everything's going to be okay because my hair is just going to grow and just be fine. So, um, yeah, that's what this is. Uh, and yeah, if you want to know more about it, just do some research and you'll figure out what I figured out. Um, and then this is the hair color I purchased. I got two boxes, just in case, because there's nothing worse than not having enough hair dye. And my hair is getting pretty long. I don't know if you guys have seen it lately, but it's getting pretty long and it's pretty thick. So, you know, I decided to get two boxes. Um, and I just got the color light natural brown, natural light brown, whatever, um, in nice and easy, this one was on sale for $9.99, so I got two boxes, and yeah, it's just really nice color, and the reason I got this color was because I purchased hair extensions at Sally's the other day, which hopefully will match this, um, this is what color they are, it's like a really nice natural brown color, which is my hair color, and so hopefully it all turns out this color um you know you can't really predict anything especially when you have red hair because you know the red shows really easily through the hair dye especially if it's really dark or anything like that hopefully this is light enough or will get light enough after the color oops and yeah so it's kind of like it's pretty close so hopefully that turns out all right usually I, usually I do pretty good with this kind of stuff so yeah so, um, I'm not really going to show the steps or anything. I might show you, like, after each step. I don't know. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys will watch the rest of the video and see how it turned out. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. So, I just got out of the shower uh, after using the color oops. And it actually worked really, really well. Um, it's now, like, a light brown. There's still some red in it, which I totally expected. But it actually worked, like, amazing. Like, that's pretty pretty good for something that doesn't have bleach or anything really bad in it and my hair still feels really really soft like there's no damage or anything which is really good um I just did underneath I didn't do the top because the top was just recently bleached and it's already pretty light so yeah it's still dark but like frig that's pretty good I wouldn't use this alone obviously I wouldn't just do this and then be like this is my hair color now I would put a color over it but it still works really well for getting the red out, um, which is like impossible to do if you have had red hair, you know. But yeah, um, so I'm just going to blow dry my hair and then put my hair color on and then um, hop in the shower, rinse it out, and then blow dry it and then show you guys how it turned out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye guys. Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you my hair color before I dye it, just so you can get a sense of how much red is really in it. Um, it's mostly like light pinky orange color up here. And then um, I use the color oops down here, which has kind of turned out like a light brown slash pinky orange. So overall, I think it's going to go really well because there's no actual really red in it. It's kind of just light tones of it. 
it's kind of more of like a blonde with like a pinky orange in it so hopefully the hair color will go right over it and there won't be any issues and yeah I'll show you guys soon bye guys hey guys so my hair is brown it's all done I freaking love it um there are still some pink spots I don't know if you can see right there it's a little bit red ish like underneath a little bit but besides that it's like perfect I absolutely love it that's the microwave if you can hear that and yeah I just think it's really really pretty and I'm really excited because my hair is brown again and yeah I haven't had it brown in a really long time and I missed it and my hair feels really soft well these are hair extensions obviously but my hair just in general feels really nice and like I don't know now I don't have to bleach it anymore, which I'm really happy about. That's like the number one thing I did this for, so I don't have to bleach my hair anymore. I don't have to color my hair anymore. And I can shower like regular and whatever. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna, in a couple weeks, touch it up with the same box color. Um, just to get like the rest of the pink out. Like, I missed some spots in the back that are a little bit pink and stuff. But, like, overall, it looks fine. Like, you don't really notice that much, so... Yeah, um, I hope you guys like it, and I hope this was an informative video, and, um, you know, you can always request videos if you want to see hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, um, outfits, Halloween things, um, I just did a mermaid tutorial, um, for Halloween, so, you know, all that's coming very soon, um, and yeah, just leave your request below. I also have Instagram, which is Becky Sky, and Twitter, which is Becky Sky, everything is just Becky Sky. I'll leave the links below and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.